We've all run into traffic problems while commuting to or from work, but yesterday some Philadelphians faced a pretty unlikely situation on the road. Here's Eva Anderson. Uh, I was on my way home from work. Joshua Duke's evening commute home was anything but normal Monday. An unexpected stop on a SEPTA bus route on Henry Avenue. Bus started slowing down. I guess I was losing horsepower. That's his punny description of what he saw next. And then you got a SEPTA bus trying to wrangle them all back in. A traffic jam caused by a group of horses. I had no idea what was going on. And lady was said, there's a bunch of horses in the street. He filmed this video and says the bus was buzzing with amusement and it shook some nerves. Uh, the one horse ran straight by the bus out of nowhere. I was nervous about other drivers beeping their horn and, you know, trying to speed up fast, trying to spook the horses. But I mean, like I said, the mood on the bus was just, you know, mostly people just want the horses to get back safety. And thankfully they did. This is Ohana. This is Daisy. These are a few of the nine horses that escaped from Saul High School's farm in Roxborough That's around amazing. seven last evening. That's Jane Arbisak is a farm administrator and says right after it happened, people from the farm, the school and neighbors all hopped in to help corral them, which she says was relatively easy once they were bridled. They're like, you know, they're like teenagers. They ran around thinking this is great. And then all of a sudden they said, oh my God, I want to go home. Arbisak said it was the perfect storm that caused this. The horses' noses were in this salt lick you see right there. That meant their back ends came up against the hinges of this gate and knocked it loose. They have big butts and somebody moved back and hit the gate at the right point, at the right place, and the, the hinges just moved. Oh yes, these beautiful behinds are responsible for that wild night out. Arbisac says they tightened the gate's hinges to prevent another escape. Duke is happy they're home. We're just glad that the horses are safe and that they're back on the farm. And at the end of his video, he perfectly summed up the moment to the delight of his fellow riders. They're just horsing around. <laughs> Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia. Uh, how about that?